meanwhile, verifying the security architecture and risk management documents of one of my client, I remember the concepts from the domain one of CISSP. As this is the domain which helps me to understand the organization architecture and other related terms. So let's discuss these concepts today. We will discuss the topic evaluate and apply security governance principles of domain one in this video. Two subtopics we will discuss. First one is alignment of security function to business strategy, goals, mission, and objectives. And then we will discuss about the organizational processes such as acquisitions, divestitures, governance committees, etc. Every organization have a mission, vision, objectives, and goals. Each of these have particular function in the working of the organization. We can represent the working of any organization using this triangle. At the base projects helps to achieve the initiatives. And initiatives are areas of focus which support our strategies. Strategies are planned to achieve goals. Goals are measures of success factors and with goals and values, any organization can accomplish the organization mission. And achieve the vision where mission is the purpose of existence of any organization. And vision is the future state and outcome of the mission of the organization. Security functions such as security plan and strategy should be in alignment with the organization's business strategy, goals, mission, and objectives. With this information security must consider other factors to achieve goals such as leadership environment, corporate risk tolerance, compliance expectations, new and legacy technologies and practices, evolving threats, also, the principles of information security application should enable the organization to perform its mission efficiently and effectively with an acceptable level of risk. Security management starts or should start at the top with executive management and board level. Security management at top level is known as security governance. Security governance set direction for management and also ensure organization has policies and processes in place to ensure that executive management is following directions and also is fully informed and is in control of information security strategy, policy, and operations. Now let's discuss about the mission means in terms of an organization context. Mission define the purpose of the organization, so it's a statement of purpose, mission statement, tells why an organization exists also it drives all corporate activities, we can say that mission statement tells what the organization is, what it does, and why it exists, doing what it does in the way that it is chosen. Mission ensure efficient and effective allocation of time, resources, and efforts. Mission is defined by a government mandate or jurisdiction, and in case of private organization mission is as per the stakeholder's vision. Vision is the future, desired state of organization, it inspire members of organization to work toward end. And to achieve new and desired state requires organization to change the allocation of time resources and efforts. Strategy describes how organization achieve its vision. Strategy of an organization should be frequently updated to address new challenge or changes. Strategy decides where to spend time and resources to accomplish a task. Protecting an organization's information assets is a critical part of the organization's strategy, ensuring the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of the information. Objectives are milestone or expected specific result. Objectives helps to attain organization goals and achieve mission. And goal is the intermediate term between objective and mission. So objective is short term and supports a goal which is an intermediate term and further supports a mission which is always for long term and which can only be accomplished with a well-defined strategy. Governance sets conditions for the organization management to act in the interest of the stakeholders as per the business needs. Also it ensure organization's management acts ethically, legally, and fairly in the pursuit of the organization's mission. Governance is done by a governing body or governance committee, which can be board of directors or group of executives and or managers. Governance committee regularly meet to review security incidents, projects, operational metrics, and other aspects of concern. Also, governance committee will occasionally issue mandates to security management about new business activities and shifts in priorities and strategic direction. Governance committee also evaluate risks and benefits of various actions, such as risks to the financial health of the organization, 
failure to meet compliance requirements, operational risks and they also address the risk of compromises to information security. OECD Group has given principles of corporate governance these principles provide an effective framework for corporate governance. There are six principles as given in six chapters by OECD, first principle is given in chapter 1 define governance role to promote efficient allocation of resources and transparent markets. Second principle is per chapter 2 define shareholders rights and about decisions via shareholder meetings. Also it discuss about the right to have information, third principle define economic incentives provided at each level of the investment, fourth principle define role of stakeholders in corporate governance, fifth principle define about the disclosure of financial and operational information, such as operating results, company objectives, risk factors, share ownership and other critical information and, the sixth principle discusses responsibilities of the board of directors in selecting management, setting management compensation, reviewing corporate strategy, risk management and other areas, as the oversight of internal audit and tax planning. And now taking the last subtopic acquisitions and divestitures. Acquisitions means organizations acquiring other organizations and divestitures means organizations splitting themselves into two or more separate companies or internal reorganizations to change the alignment of teams, departments, divisions, and business units. In CISSP exam we need to know the security consideration in acquisitions and divestitures. Let's discuss some of the security consideration in such scenarios. In case of acquisitions and divestitures we need to know the security governance and management framework the security policy, security posture, security operations and the requirements of any new requirements. In divestitures condition, each new company need to duplicate the security governance, management, controls, operations, and tools that the single organization had before the split. To align information security to each new organization we need to fully understand the business mission of each new organization, security regulations and standards required to new organization. With this much information, I just want to say goodbye. But remember to revise all these information again and again as all these concepts you need in your day-to-day -day working life. Okay bye for now but coming back with the second topic soon.